welcome back to What Artie Noobs. This is a Sexton 1. It's a tier 3 British premium SPG. It's located on the south spawn of Abbey under the command of Andromeda. And the battle started. Well, this Artie has only just come out because uh, at the time this replay was played, the start of the holiday ops appeared and uh, everyone who managed to get loot boxes bought themselves or managed to get a Sexton 1. Now it's a pretty rare RT. Many people didn't have them, and uh, that's because Wargaming didn't put them on sale. Now uh, it's um, one of the first versions of the Sexton that were produced in Montreal, Canada, by uh, the Montreal Locomotive Works. I seem to remember, and well, it's basically a hull from an M4, which has been mounted with a 25 millimeter, uh, 25 pounder gun, and it's quite powerful. It's got better view range than the standard Sexton. It's got about the same reload time and the same 25 pounder gun. It's just, it can see further and it can penetrate more armor. Plus, of course, it can carry AP ammo instead of just um, the standard HE. Well, you can see Andromeda's got a shot in that T29, but he fires around in and hits the rock face. Now, he's not having a good game so far, but. Well, there's plenty of targets for him to shoot at. T29 over on the west side. Disappears from view. Okay, he's dialing on. Dialing in just in case that T29 comes back to that lookout. Nope, doesn't. So instead he's going to go for a Type 91. Now, we're not doing so well at the moment because there were two tanks down on the enemy. And a mod or two has been seen at the near the enemy cap area. He's sitting behind that bush, I believe. Now, it still takes a fair amount of time to dial in on the target. And you can see that he fired a, a shot there, snapshot, you know, not fully dialed in. And the shell didn't go anywhere near the aim point. So, unfortunately, he didn't get a kill. In fact, he's got no damage on the enemy at all at the moment. But I'm sure that will change. There's that T29 that was looking for a hit from the lookout. And he goes down fairly quickly. And the kill there actually went to the M3G FT, the Chinese tank destroyer. Now Andromeda is actually platoon with a Sexton 1 on his own team. Who's over on the other side of the cap on the west side. And well, he's facing the enemy. And there's an MTLS which is the two cannon, double cannon vehicle. That's the first vehicle in the game that came into the game with two barrels, not the 703 version two. That was it. And it was the, uh, it was a free tank. I seem to remember the MTLS 1G14, or was it a mini marathon tank? It may have been that, but anyway, unfortunately we just lost our Sexton 1 to the Type 91, who's up on that, uh, Ledge, I think. Yes, there he is. He's up above that MTLS. And the MTLS goes down to the Marder 2, but there's two enemy tanks, a T-46 and a Type 91. And again, Andromeda's not having much luck with his shots. He's going for the Type 91. Fires a round in and hits the rock face. No damage at all so far. But I'm sure that will change. Well, it's very bad for their team because they've only got four left. Two RTs, two light tanks, and the enemy team has got seven. Oh, it's got even worse now. There's only three left on their team. A Bison, Andromeda, and a Panzer 1C. And the Panzer 1C is overlooking the cap from that perch up near the Abbey. Well, the Bison is just, or Bison, I should say, is just ahead of Andromeda. And he's trying to aim at the enemy tanks that are going to be coming up from the west. And there's the Type 91 just coming down from that height. Rounds out and missed. And you can see the shells from the Panzer 1C are going into the side of the Type 91. It looks like it set him on fire. But he's put the flames out. And the Beeson just fired as well. And he missed the Type 91. So he's got a fairly long reload. There's the Cruiser 4 from the enemy team. 
Oh, and he's taken out on Bisson. And he's moving out from behind that rock. It looks like he might have a damaged engine. Oh, and that's the first hit for Andromeda. And it looks like... Oh, yes, the Panzer 1C's killed him. That's the Panzer 1C's second kill of the game. So it looks like Andromeda's picked up some damage assist there. Because he tracked that Cruiser Mark IV. And then the Panzer 1C killed him. Okay, T-46 next. And he also goes down to the Panzer 1C. He's now got three kills. Any other takers? It's got to be one, hasn't there? There was a Type 91 fairly close to the cap. We haven't seen him since. The Panzer 1C has come down from his height. He's moving towards the west side of the map. See if he can find that Type 91. He's gone around the corner. And the Type 91's not there. Oh, there he is. We spotted him. And he goes up onto the heights and just wipes out the Type 91. Fires the rest of his magazine. <laughs> so there's now four tanks left on the enemy team. And the Panzer 1C now has four kills. So this is actually getting quite good. So we're only outnumbered two to one at the moment. That's a bit better than when it was uh, seven to two. That was That was a bit awful. In terms of odds. Well the Panzer 1C is going up onto the heights. And one of the enemy tanks has turned up. It's a Sexton 1. He's inside the cap. And we're about to shoot. And the Panzer 1C fires around him. We track the Sexton 1. And the Panzer 1C claims another kill. That's five. Andromeda is not getting any kills. But he is getting some damage assist here. Okay, we're following the Panzer 1C. There's only three left on the enemy team now. He's moving up the west side. There's a very good chance he's going to spot one of the enemy team as he's moving up. Because there are some spots where you can look out and see if there's anybody nearby. On both sides of that area. But he's ignoring those lookout spots. And he's just going straight for that corner. Oh he's found one of the enemy RT. It's the Vespa. It's out of range for Andromeda. Because he's just too far away. The Vespa tries to get a shot. But he's taken out. So the Panzer 1C now has a top gun. That means there's only two enemies remaining. A Marder 2. And an M2 medium. Well, I think that um, Andromeda is just out of range. He's moving about. I think he's centering his arc at the moment, trying to get shots on anything that the Panzer 1C spots. But he is just about out of range. You can see when he was trying to aim there, he, his line grayed out. And that means you're out of range. There's the red line showing there's an obstruction in the way. Okay, he's decided, I think, to move, or is he going to move? He really ought to. He needs to get closer to the Panzer 1C. Panzer 1C is now capping. And Andromeda is loading an AP shell. Okay, here he goes. Oh, the enemy's been spotted. And it's both of them. Okay, well, the Marder 2, it looks like he was sitting over on that corner. Up on top of the heights. He's been killed quickly by the Panzer 1C. And Andromeda fires a snapshot in at the M2 medium, but misses. So that's seven kills now for the Panzer 1C. And it looks like he's dived off that hill. And he's going around to try and get the M2 medium. Andromeda's lining up a shot on him. Rounds out. Long range shot. Just misses the M2 medium. Panzer 1C is going in. Empties his magazine into the M2. And wins the game. So two tanks take down 
seven enemies and with Andromeda's help that Panzer 1C ended up the game with eight kills. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, quite an unusual game for Andromeda. He only ended up with a third class tanker, but there again, it was one of the, his first few games in the Sexton 1 on the Holiday Ops. And uh, his win eight for the game was only 504 because he didn't do that much in the way of damage. Did get some damage assist. But let's have a look at the scoreboard. <laughs> Just look at that. He's mid-table when it comes to the damage with 128 hit points. But by far the biggest winner in that game with a Pascucci's medal, high caliber and a top gun is the Panzer 1C who managed to get 1,163 hit points of damage of which 175 hit points was at more than 300 meters. And uh, well, he did very well indeed. Damaged eight of the enemy, killed eight of the enemy and uh, got 11 hit points of damage assistance and 14 defense points on tanks that are in the cap. So with the help of um, Andromeda, he managed to win the game. Uh, eight kills, there you go. 1,016 base experience points go to the Panzer 1C. And um, people said that the Sexton 1 is OP. Not when it comes to a Panzer 1C around. No, this tank is definitely OP. And this tank is a standard tank that anyone can get. So um, don't call this OP when one of these is about. Okay. And uh, let's have a look at detail report. Andromeda fired 13 rounds. He only got two direct hits and zero penetrations. Splash damage on three. 128 hit points of damage. And he got uh, three enemy vehicles damage, no kills, and 162 hit points of damage assistance. He earned 15,390 credits, got 1,385 from Holiday Ops, total 16,775. And after ammunition resupply, took away 11,175 credits. He received 348 XP times 2 for the first victory, 209 for this uh, being a premium vehicle, took away 905 altogether. He sent this replay in saying, watch the Panzer 1C. And well, it's a pretty amazing replay from his perspective because uh, you don't often see a Panzer 1C getting 8 kills. But unfortunately, he cannot get the Radley Waters simply because you don't get it above tier uh, below tier 5. You have to be at least tier 5 in order to earn one and unfortunately the Panzer 1C is a tier 3 tank so there you go. He's not going to earn one but he's certainly going to get the kudos of winning for his team and uh, doing so with the help of the Sexton 1. If you enjoyed that replay please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.